everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Amber Rachel, and today's video is going to be a what's in my diaper bag. Now with COVID and everything going on, we really don't leave the house that often, but I did want to show you what I do bring with us in her diaper bag whenever we do decide to venture out. bag it is the brand up simples it was a gift that I received off of my registry so I'm not quite sure how much it costs but certain products that I talk about during this video will be linked down in the description box below so if you guys are interested in this exact diaper bag make sure you click on the description and look for the link I think that this bag is really cool because it has a couple different ways that you can carry it so these two straps are so that way you can carry it either by your hand like that or you can go ahead and loop it around your elbow and carry it kind of in like the crook of your arm. And then if you flip it around here to the back, you have these two little straps right here. And these are actually stroller straps. So if you want it to, you can go ahead and just unhook each side, loop it around your stroller handles, and then clip it back. And then it will hang from your stroller. And of course you have the backpack style and this is the way that I prefer to carry it just because it is kind of on the heavier side and the backpack way is the most comfortable. So right here the straps are very thick and padded which is something that I really like because again it is very heavy and so the thick padded straps really help make it more comfortable to carry. And then another thing about this diaper bag that I really like is that right here on the back side of the diaper bag I have a little zipper compartment to where I can open it up and I can access the items that are on the very bottom of the diaper bag. So that way I don't have to take everything out of the diaper bag and put everything back in just to look for that one pacifier that decided to fall all the way to the bottom of the diaper bag. And then on the back it also has this secret little compartment. It is kind of little but it is pretty convenient. And on each side of the diaper bag it has these neat little side pockets. Both of them do have a little zipper so that way if you did have wipes in there then you can unzip it and you can pull out your wipes from the side without ever taking the wipes container out. I personally don't use them for wipes so normally I like to keep stuff on the side just so I can kind of grab it really easy. Like I have a pair of sunglasses and I also have a hand sanitizer spray. And then normally on this side I do carry a container of sanitizing wipes but I use them and they're in my car and honestly I didn't feel like going back out there to grab them. So I'll just go ahead and post a picture on the screen of the kind that I usually keep in this little side pocket. And in the front it has two different zipper pouches. So in the first one, if you unzip it, it's an insulated pouch. So if I have anything that's either cold or hot, I can put it in that pouch and it'll stay at the temperature it is when I put it in there. And then the other zipper pouch is where I like to keep her bottles. And then when I do pack her bottles, I always put in there the exact amount of water that I need. I have the Baby Brezza water warmer and it automatically makes the water warm for her bottles. So when I put the water in here, it's nice and warm. And these pockets are insulated so that way the water stays warm. And inside of this pouch, it also does have this mesh pocket right here. So now let's get inside of the actual diaper bag, which is where all of the goodies are. All right, so I like to keep the stuff on top that I know I'm going to be reaching for the most. So I have things like my wallet. This is something that I definitely need. So I always make sure that it's somewhere quick and within reach. Next thing I have is my formula container. This is the Dr. Brown's formula container. And as you can see, it has three different compartments. And I just fill it up with the appropriate amount of formula. So that's another thing that I like to keep right on top. And the next thing right on top I like to keep is my daughter's toys. She absolutely loves these two. She loves this it's this little book that I got from my local grocery store. It's just a little crinkle paper book. And she really likes it. And then it also has this clip right here. So if I need to clip it on anything, like the car seat, the, um, the stroller, whatever the case may be, it has a little clip for that. And she loves to chew on it. And then it has this little thing right here, which is an actual teether that, ironically, she never chews on. So I have that in there. And then I also have this little Einstein's phone toy it just kind of lights up and it just plays she loves it I don't she loves it and next I have the thing that I use the absolute most this is her little diaper changing bag so this is the brand kitty care I got this from Amazon and it has a zipper pouch in the front and this is where I keep my hand sanitizer and I also have a travel size diaper cream applicator it's just a little spatula from the Dr. Talbot's brand and then I also have a, a 
almost used up tube of diaper rash cream. It also has this strap right here which is really handy so that way if I'm on my way to the bathroom I can just carry it by this little strap. And then it also has this right here on the side so if I want it to clip it to something like the actual stroller then I can go ahead and do that as well. But I just like to stick it in my diaper bag because that's what's easiest for me. And then on the actual inside of it, this whole thing unfolds. This opens up. So we have the changing pad and then this little square right here, it's actually a memory foam pillow. So it just kind of gives her a little bit more comfort when she is getting diaper changes. And this also does disconnect. So you can take this off and if you want it to just bring this component, then you can do that as well. But I like to keep mine together because again, I use all of it. And then right here at the top, it has a mesh little pocket and then a container where I can put my wipes. So I have the, I don't know if it's called OXO or OXO, but I have that brand and it's a refillable wipes container. And you just push the button, it pops open, and then you can pull out whatever wipes you need. And then you can also open it up to go ahead and put more wipes in there. So I have that, and then I just like to slip it in through those little straps. And then right here at the top is where I just keep a couple of her diapers. And then the next thing I have is an extra pack of wipes. I have to keep an extra pack of baby wipes in there so that way I know that I always have enough. And then I also have these mesh bags. I don't know what brand they are off the top of my head, but I will have everything linked down in the description box below. They come in a large pack on Amazon, and so that's what I use to organize the inside of her diaper bag. And honestly, they make life so much easier. So this first bag is a little kind of healthcare bag, I guess I would call it. So in this bag, I have a Johnson's hand and face wipe, some more hand sanitizer. Then I also keep some extra masks. I have a couple of them. I have, I think, five here. And that's just in case I forget mine at home or if someone I'm with forgets one and needs one, then I always have the masks on hand. And another thing is my Zarbi's Baby um, face balm. And then I have a little roll right here of little diaper trash bags. They are scent locking. It's the Ubi brand, I believe. So it's just a little roll and you can pull it out. And then you have a little bag that you can open up and you can get rid of any kind of smelly diapers. This is just a little teether that I like to keep in here so she can play with it and chew on it. And then I also have a sample size of the Avita Baby Daily Moisture Lotion. So that way if she does need lotion on the go, then I know I have that in there. So that's everything in the first bag that I like to keep for her personal care items. Next in this bag is where I have kind of her feeding essentials. She is beginning to eat actual solid food, so I did have to start adding some stuff to the diaper bag for her to eat. So the first thing that we have in here, I have these two different packs of teething crackers. The first one is the Parents' Choice Organic Banana Rice Husks. These are little teething crackers that she likes. And then I also have the Gerber brand, and this one is Banana Peach. And the next thing I have in there is actually for me. These are just some little peanut butter crackers in case I need a snack when we're on the go. And then I also like to keep two clean spoons for her in a Ziploc bag because like I said, she is starting to eat solid and we need spoons for that. So I like to keep some of those in there. And then I do also like to keep a little silicone bib that has a little pocket and I won't have to worry about her getting all messy. And it's also very bendable and foldable so it doesn't take up that much room in the diaper bag. So I really like that. And the last two things that I have in this pouch is an extra pacifier inside of a pacifier holder. And then I have some pacifier wipes. I love these because I can use them on so many more things other than just her pacifiers. Pretty much anything that goes in her mouth, if I need to clean it really quickly and on the go, I can use these. So her bottle nipples, teething toys, spoons, pacifiers, anything that goes in her mouth, these are awesome. So that's everything in that pouch. And in the very last pouch is where I keep an extra set of clothes for her because babies are super messy and let's be real, we need some extra clothes. So I make it really simple. I just have one little onesie in there and then I also keep just a regular teething bib in there for her just in case. And then a pair of socks. I do have those two little side pockets in the diaper bag and that's normally where I keep the extra pack of wipes. So I'm just gonna pop that right back in there, just like that. And right back here in the back of the diaper bag is where I have another little zipper pouch. This is where I keep some of my emergency items. So let's go ahead and open that up and take a look. 
So I have a pacifier clip and then I also have some lady products, if you know, you know. And then next up, I have an extra iPhone charger for me. And then I have a micro USB cord. And then, of course, to actually charge the stuff, we have a battery pack. I do like to keep an extra chapstick inside of that pocket as well, just in case I need it. An extra hair tie for my hair. And then I do also like to keep a couple rubber bands for my daughter's hair because her hair is pretty long and it's getting to the point where I have to keep it up all the time or it's just completely in her face. So I like to keep a couple of rubber bands on hand for her hair. And then this last item is probably overkill, but you know what? Someday I know I'm going to need it and I'm going to be so thankful that I put it in there. And that is a mini screwdriver and some batteries. Ah! I have four double A batteries and then I have four triple A batteries so if I have a screaming baby and her favorite toy dies then I have batteries. That's everything that I like to keep in my emergency pocket and like I said I know some of this stuff is kind of overkill but I know that one day it will come in handy and I'm gonna be very glad that I put that stuff in there. And I'm the kind of person where I fully believe in like the whole better safe than sorry type thing. So I would just rather have it and be prepared than not to have it, you know? So again, I have my little diaper case. That goes in there. Her little food pouch. The personal care items. And her extra change of clothes. So this is what the inside of the bag looks like with all of that stuff in there. And on top of all of that is where I put the rest of the stuff that I need. So I have her toys, and then I like to keep her formula and my wallet. And there we go. That is everything in my diaper bag. All right, you guys, so that wraps everything up. Thank you guys so much for watching and staying until the end. Please give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it. And also leave in the comments something that you keep in your diaper bag that you think is absolutely essential. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next week.